Welcome to Alan Berry Reports TV. I'm your host, Alan Berry Labucan from AlanBerryReports.com. Uh, today we have a new installment of our In the News segment uh, where we talk about resource companies with uh, recent developments. And uh, but before we get started, like always, we have some thank yous we'd like to send out. Uh, first of all, we, uh, we use two really important websites, YouTube.com and uh, Ustream.tv. Uh, we use these websites to be able to uh, broadcast, record, and play the shows on. And so uh, they're great websites for anyone who wants to do their own shows, and we highly recommend them. Uh, in addition, we want to thank our sponsors. If you're watching this show on our website, you'll notice that on the, on the sides of me here we have some banners. Uh, those banner sponsors are really instrumental in being able to for us to be able to put these shows together and uh, bring them to you. So we want to thank those folks as well. And then most importantly, we want to thank you, the viewer. Without uh, you showing up to watch the shows, we wouldn't have much reason in doing them. And so thank you very much for joining us. Um, before we get started, I wanted to uh, get into something that's kind of uh, caught the attention of the whole mining sector in the last few days. Well, actually for the last couple months, but in the last few couple days I was up pretty late last night uh, watching the uh, rescue uh, operations uh, to get the um, uh, Chilean miners out from underground there it's been quite a uh, incredible story uh, these gentlemen uh, uh, these underground miners uh, got caught uh, about 70 days ago uh, underground in a small chamber and uh, the, they've been uh, stuck there for the last uh, 70 days or so. And uh, just in the last 24 hours, they started to get these guys out. Uh, the, um, uh, they, they, they've, the, between them and their family, loved ones, they've really had a, a, a tough go of it of late. But uh, due to the uh, hard work of the rescue team, the rescue workers, uh, the drilling team that's been working uh, around the clock, uh, they, they're they ahead of schedule now and uh, just in the last 24 hours they've been starting to pull these guys out of the ground. It's been quite an uh, impressive operation to uh, to rescue these uh, underground workers and uh, you know it really shines some light on uh, to a lot of people on how important uh, the job that miners and mining companies do uh, to bring us the raw materials that may basically make everything we do in this uh, world uh, run and so I um, uh, just want to say how ex happy I am to see those uh, miners out of there and thanks a lot to the uh, to the great uh, work teams that have uh, got them out of there so uh, off of that good news we're gonna we got uh, four companies to talk about today uh, we'll be doing a two-part show uh, just uh, so you know, if you're watching the show on our website, once the first uh, part is done, the second part starts. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll just have on our YouTube channel at youtube.com, you'll just have to look for part one and part two with today's date uh, on it, uh, September the 13th. And so um, without further ado, we'll get started. Uh, the first company we're going to talk about today is um, U.S. Gold Corp. On the disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Uh, we f They are a featured company in our Allen Berry Reports uh, email newsletter. If you want to subscribe to receive our newsletter or receive any of our emails that keep people informed about our shows, there's a subscription button up there. Just fill out the information, and that's a great way for you to keep uh, up to speed with what we're doing. We always send out uh, emails whenever we've got new work out. So uh, U.S. Gold, uh, we first featured them in our September the 28th, 2008 uh, edition uh, that was our 19th of edition of our email newsletter uh, you can find those up above there as well just look for that report section and uh, click on that and you can find the 19th edition in there um, we've also had them on a couple of our uh, a few of our past shows uh, on our Ustream channel we had them on our August the 5th and September the 2nd 2010 shows 
And then uh, we also had him on our YouTube channel um, on the June 23rd, uh, 2010 showing. Got my dog back here. He's my assistant, and uh, he's starting to move around a little bit. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the, uh, we're going to start. Uh, we'll, we'll go to their uh, website, and uh, their website is usgold.com. And uh, on their website, they have a section called News. And if you click on the News button, um, we're looking for the news release on September the 27th, 2010. And the headline from that news is, El Gallo continues to expand in multiple directions. Uh, 116.5 grams per ton silver over 15.5 meters. I'm um, just going to pull the, then you get the full details. What they announced in there was a, a new batch of 18 drill holes from their Al Gallo project in Sonolo State, Mexico. Uh, as they mentioned in that one hole there, they had a, a 3.4 ounces of silver per ton over 165 feet. Uh and they had another hole with 50.5 meters over 2. Point, uh, or sorry, they had another hole with 50.5 meters of 2.2 ounces per, per ton silver. Um, they have uh, there's a uh, quote in here from Rob McEwen, who's their chairman and CEO, and he stated, and I quote, five core and two percussion drills are now operating at Al Gallo in order to quickly test the ultimate size of this discovery." The results contained in this news release continue to demonstrate that the deposit is growing in multiple directions and that there is good potential to discover additional ounces. We are also excited by, by several early stage prospects in the area where drilling has commenced and results will be released in the coming weeks." End quote. And so then they go into some details uh, about the uh, these recent drill holes. They have a table there uh, where you can find all the various different drill holes that they announced. Uh, then they do some, um, they got some uh, good maps there as well uh, that are attached to the news release in their website. And so if you click on that, it'll bring up those, uh, those uh, maps. So you can get a visual of what they're doing from a, uh, bird's eye sort of view and then three-dimensionally underground so it's a really good uh, resource there and uh, uh, again uh, a good place to go and, and find some good information on the company so um, uh, that's all the key information we wanted to talk about in their press release some of the reasons that we follow this company um, Rob McEwen is a very well-known uh, mining builder in the industry uh, in fact, I just saw him on US uh, on BNN uh, Business News Network up here. That's BNN.ca up in Canada, and uh, he, he was talking about the goals that he has for the company. If you do a search on their website for U.S. Gold, uh, I highly recommend you take a look at that because he does a great job, sort of saying, telling people of where he wants to take the company, and he's got some big plans there. What excite excited us about the company is the drill results that they're getting from their uh, El Gallo project really high grades close to surface easily accessible all uh, you know really good hallmarks of what we look for and so uh, you know that's the reasons we follow them some information from their from their recent news and again uh, if you want to um, do some more homework on the company good place to start is on their website and that is US Gold, uh, usgold.com, and that's a great place to start your homework. So that's a wrap on our chat regarding US Gold. Uh, the second company we're going to talk about today is MineFinders, and I'm just going to pull up their uh, website. Uh, as I was doing that, um, I wanted to get over the uh, disclosure information. We're not shareholders of the company. They are a featured company in our newsletter, uh, email newsletter. We started coverage of them on February the 2nd, 2009. That was our 22nd edition. Again, you can find those on the uh, report section. Just look for that 22nd edition if you're interested in following our coverage. And then we also had them on our uh, Ustream, sh t Ustream channel 
uh, there's a link to that on the website as well and uh, just look for the September 9th 2010 show uh, when we talked about them now MindFinder's uh, website is m-i-n-e-f-i-n-d-e-r-s dot com uh, they've recently had if you go on their website they've got a media center there I think that's where all the news releases are just uh, pulling it up here yeah and then you look for news releases we're looking for two press releases that they put out recently one was from uh, yesterday actually and then they had uh, some news out on September the 20th as well um, in the September 20th press release the headline was MindFinders announces discovery of gold and silver system at its La Virginia project uh, there they went on that uh, they announced that Initial drilling has resulted in the discovery of a gold and silver mineralized system on the La Virginia zone of the company's 100% owned La Virginia project. Then they went into some of the details. They had a they have a table there with all the uh, various different drill results, and uh, uh, so that's one press release we're looking at. Then you go back, and uh, the, then they had one out yesterday. And uh, this was a, uh, the headline from it, Mine Finders Encounters High Grade Gold and Silver Intercepts in the South Extension at the Dolores Mine. Uh, they announced uh, reported high grade intercepts from the deep drill program currently underway at the South Extension uh, target area at the company's Dolores Mine in Chihuahua, Mexico. Um, so uh, those are two really good news releases that they've had out recently. Um, you know, um, some of the reasons that we like uh, what MindFinders is doing is they, we've been following them for over a decade now. They made this big discovery, the Dolores discovery of gold, high-grade gold and silver in Mexico back in the late 1990s. Now, this was a period when not a lot of investors were really that excited about uh, about gold, silver, or any commodities for that matter. We had many commodities that were take at multi-decade lows. And so when they made this discovery, it was a very challenging period. Now, we've been through the past 10 years, uh, which followed that period, and we've had a very bullish market for commodities uh, based on long-term supply and demand. And so... Uh, they were able in the last few years to bring Dolores into into production. So they went that the big route, I call it, from uh, exploration company that made a discovery, uh, then brought it into production, and that they're using that to propel them forward on their uh, on their growth prospects. Now, um, one of the reasons that I you know that I'm quite excited about these kind of things is that. You know, it, it's sort of uh, the mining business. It it takes a lot of uh, uh, strength of uh, character, if you will, and um, uh, mine finders definitely had that situation uh, when they were working there and during the challenging period. And they've kind of they've kind of hit it out of the park. You know, they've uh, they've gone from a tiny little junior uh, penny stock into a, a multi-dollar stock and uh they're they're now they're they're getting they get back to their roots too they've never forgot their roots which is you know uh, what they've done at the end of a drill rig and so they're doing a lot of exploration drilling they're finding new discoveries they're finding new uh extensions of the dolores uh zone so uh deposit and so it's 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 a really exciting company i i, I look for these kind of companies because i try to find companies that can move into that middle tier of producers that that is not well covered these days in the mining sector uh, there's been a lot of takeovers in the last uh, five or six years that have sort of hollowed out that uh, middle tier sector and so companies like mine finders can move into that sector and it creates a lot of opportunities so um Again, you know, those are some of the reasons we like the company. A great place to do your homework is on their website. Again, that's uh, mindfinders.com. Really easy to find them. And uh, now we're going to take a brief break here as we switch over to part two of the show. Uh, if you're watching the show on our website, don't worry. The second part will start right away. Uh, if you're watching on our YouTube, again, just uh, you'll just have to look for part two and start to uh, follow it or start that to uh, catch our second part of the show. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with you soon. <laughs> 